A Prairie Home Companion is a weekly radio variety show created and hosted by Garrison Keillor that aired live from 1974 to 2016. In 2016, musician Chris Thiele took over as host, and the successor show was eventually renamed Live From Here. A Prairie Home Companion aired on Saturdays from the Fitzgerald Theater in St. Paul, Minnesota. It was also frequently heard on tours to New York City and other U.S. cities. The show is known for its musical guests, especially folk and traditional musicians, tongue-in-cheek radio drama, and relaxed humor. Keeler's Rye storytelling segment, News from Lake Wobegon was the show's best-known feature during his long tenure. Distributed by Minnesota Public Radio's distribution arm, American Public Media, A Prairie Home Companion was heard on 690 public radio stations in the United States at its peak in spring 2015 and reached an audience of 4 million U.S. listeners each week. The show borrowed its name from a radio program in existence in 1969 that was named after the Prairie Home Cemetery near Concordia College, in Moorhead, Minnesota. It inspired a 2006 film of the same name, written by Keeler, directed by Robert Altman, and featuring Keeler, Kevin Klein, Lily Tomlin, Meryl Streep, and Lindsay Lohan. History Origin The Saturday Evening Show was a partial spin-off of A Prairie Home Morning Show with Keeler and Tom Keith, which ran from 6 to 9 a.m. on Minnesota Public Radio and was continued by Keith and Dale Connolly for many years as The Morning Show. After researching the Grand Ole Opry for an article, Keeler became interested in doing a variety show on the radio. On July 6, 1974, the first live broadcast of A Prairie Home Companion took place. That show was broadcast from St. Paul in the Janet Wallace Auditorium of McAllister College. Twelve audience members turned out, mostly children. The second episode featured the first performance on the show by Butch Thompson, who became house pianist. Thompson stayed with the program until 1986 and still frequently performs on the show. In 1978, the show moved into the World Theater in St. Paul, which Minnesota Public Radio purchased and renovated in 1986 and renamed the Fitzgerald Theater in 1994. This is the same venue the program uses today. Topic. Hiatus The show went off the air in 1987, with a final performance on June 13, and Keeler married and spent some time abroad during the following two years. For a brief time, the show was replaced both on the air and in the world theater. By Good Evening, hosted by Noah Adams, a live variety show designed by X Prairie Home and All Things Considered staffers to retain the audience Keeler had cultivated over the years. However, many stations opted instead to continue APHC repeats in its traditional Saturday time slot. In 1989, Keeler returned to radio with the American Radio Company of the Air, renamed Garrison Keeler's American Radio Company in its second season, broadcast originally from the Brooklyn Academy of Music. The new program featured a broadly similar format to A Prairie Home Companion, with sketches and musical guests reflecting a more New York sensibility, rather than the country and folk music predominant in APHC. Also, while Keeler sang and delivered a regular monologue on American Radio Company, Lake Wobegon was initially downplayed, as he felt it was cruel. 
to talk to a Brooklyn audience about life in a small town. During this period, Keeler revived the full APHC format only for annual farewell performances. In the fall of 1992, Keeler returned to the World Theatre with ARC for the majority of the season, with Lake Wobegon and other APHC elements gradually but unmistakably returning to prominence. <laughs> Return and final years The following year, on October 2, 1993, the program officially reverted to the A Prairie Home Companion name and format. While many of the episodes originated from St. Paul, the show often traveled to other cities around the U.S. and overseas for its live weekly broadcasts. Common road venues included the Town Hall in New York City, Tanglewood in Lenox, Massachusetts, Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts in Vienna, Virginia, Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, the Greek Theater in Los Angeles, and the State Theater in Minneapolis. It also broadcast a show each year from the Minnesota State Fair. The show was originally distributed nationally by Minnesota Public Radio in association with Public Radio International. Later, its distributor was Minnesota Public Radio's distribution unit, American Public Media. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Guest hosts. Singer Sarah Watkins of San Diego, California hosted the January 15, 2011, broadcast. The format was the same, but Keeler appeared only as a guest actor and to deliver the news from Lake Wobegon. He claimed he had taken the chance to see the show being performed for himself. It was reported that this could be the beginning of a trend toward Keeler's eventual retirement, and on March 16, 2011, Keeler stated in an interview with the AARP that he would most likely retire from the show by the time he turned 70 in August 2012. On January 29, 2011, Erica Rhodes expressed frustration over not being picked to guest host. In September 2011, Keeler told the Tuscaloosa News that his last broadcast would be recorded in early July 2013, and that instead of a permanent replacement host, there will be a whole group of people, a rotation of hosts. But in December 2011 Keeler said he had changed his mind and reconsidered his plans to retire because he still enjoyed hosting the show. On February 7 and 14, 2015, mandolinist Chris Thiele hosted the show like Sarah Watkins, a member of Nickel Creek. As when Watkins hosted, the format remained largely unchanged, but Keeler did not make an appearance. Instead, storyteller Tristan Jimerson appeared on the February 7 show and comedian, storyteller Ilna Baker on the February 14 show. Thiele's band Punch Brothers performed on the February 7 show. Thiele was named permanent host of the show in late June 2015. Keeler's last show as host was recorded on July 1, 2016, and broadcast the following day. Thiele took over as permanent host on October 15, 2016. Keeler's departure When Keeler formally announced his departure from APHC at the show's airing on July 21, 2015, he indicated that Thiele would succeed him as permanent host in 2016. Keeler recorded his final episode as host Live at the Hollywood Bowl before an audience of 18,000. On July 1, 2016, it was aired on the following day. The episode was titled, Sumus Quad Sumus, Latin for, We Are What We Are, and was a vocal duet show of, 
Time honoured American ballads, British invasion romps, country western weepers, and Broadway classics. Guest starring Sarah Watkins, Sarah Yaroche, Aoife O'Donovan, Heather Mass, and Christine DiGilinardo, alongside the Royal Academy of Radio Actors, Tim Russell, Sue Scott, and Fred Newman, and the APHC band, with music director and pianist Rich Dworsky and Bernie Dressel drums, Larry Coet bass, Richard Crean mandolin and fiddle, and Chris Siebold guitar. Barack Obama recorded a telephone call into the show, which ran on the Saturday broadcast, and Keeler performed his last. Lives of the Cowboys sketch as regular host, with regulars Scott, Russell, and Newman, and including a series of duets with the guests Mass, O'Donovan, Yaroche, DiGilinardo, and Watkins. As well, he performed his last News from Lake Wobegon segment, with its final closing description of the fictional town, where all the women are strong, all the men are good-looking, and all the children are above average. Thiele made his debut as permanent host on October 15, 2016. <laughs> Name change On November 29, 2017, Minnesota Public Radio terminated its contract with Keeler because of "...allegations of his inappropriate behavior with an individual who worked with him." Because Keeler still owned artistic rights and the trademark to the show's name, MPR also announced that it would change the name, which was announced as Live From Here Live on the December 16, 2017 broadcast of the show. MPR also announced it would cease distributing reruns of A Prairie Home Companion featuring Keeler. Keeler stated he had been fired from MPR, but he had technically not been employed by MPR, APM since 2002, working instead as an independent contractor. Topic. Planned archive On April 13, 2018, Minnesota Public Radio posted a message stating its intent to reinstate the online archives of A Prairie Home Companion and the Writer's Almanac. Minnesota Public Radio has reached an agreement with Garrison Keeler to restore free public access to the online archives of A Prairie Home Companion and the Writer's Almanac. Later this month, past performances of these popular shows will be returned to their respective websites, prairiehome.org and writersalmanac.org. MPR will pay $275,000 for Mr. Keeler's rights related to these historic archives and to resolve all other matters. These archives feature the work of thousands of talented artists, poets and musicians, said John McTaggart, President and CEO of Minnesota Public Radio and American Public Media Group. We are pleased that these performances will once again be available to fans of these programs. Format. From the show's inception until 1987, its theme song was Hank Snow's hit, Hello Love. After 1987, each show has opened with Spencer Williams' composition, Tishomingo Blues, as the theme song, with lyrics written especially for A Prairie Home Companion. Music is a main feature of the program. The show is a significant outlet for American folk music of many genres, especially country, bluegrass, blues, and gospel, but it also has guest performers from a wide variety of other styles of music, including classical, opera, and music from a number of different countries. 
The country musician and former record company executive Chet Atkins has appeared on the show many times, as have singer-songwriters Mark Knopfler lead guitarist and frontman of the bands Dire Straits and the Notting Hillbillies and Jeff Lang. Folk, gospel duo Robin and Linda Williams have been regular guests since 1976, and often join Keeler and another female performer, often Jerlyn Steele, to form the Hopeful Gospel Quartet. Peter Ostrushko, Greg Brown, Jean Redpath, and Prudence Johnson, among others, were recurring guests on the program between 1974 and 1987. The Whalen Jennies and Andra Suhi are current recurring guests, and when the show travels, Keeler generally features local musicians and acts. Greetings from members of the audience to friends and family at home frequently humorous are read each week by Keeler just after the show's intermission, at the top of the second hour. Birthdays and anniversaries of famous composers and musicians are also observed. Topic. Features Keeler and the ensemble performed comedy skits. Notable skits and characters often recur, such as the satirical Guy Noir, Private Eye, which parodied film noir and radio dramas. Guy Noir's popularity was such that the first few notes of the theme or the first lines of the announcer's introduction a dark night in a city that knows how to keep its secrets." Often drew applause and cheers from the audience. Also regularly featured were the adventures of Dusty and Lefty, the lives of the cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> News from Lake Wobegon One of the show's best-known features was Keeler's News from Lake Wobegon, a weekly storytelling monologue, claiming to be a report from his fictitious hometown of Lake Wobegon, the little town that time forgot and the decades cannot improve, where all the women are strong, all the men are good-looking, and all the children are above average. The opening words of the monologue usually did not change. Well, it's been a quiet week in Lake Wobegon, Minnesota, my hometown, out on the edge of the prairie. Keeler often poked fun at central Minnesota's large Scandinavian-American and German-American communities, and many of his fictional characters have names that reflect this. The news from Lake Wobegon did not have a set structure, but featured recurring characters and places such as the Chatterbox Café, the Sidetrack Tap, Pastor Inquist of the Lake Wobegon Lutheran Church and his successor Pastor Liz, Father Emil of Our Lady of Perpetual Responsibility Roman Catholic Church a parody of Our Mother of Perpetual Help, the Lake Wobegon Whippets sports teams, various members of the Bunsen and Krebsbach families, and an assortment of nearby Norwegian bachelor farmers. Once a year the program featured a special joke show, which generally included the Lake Wobegon monologue and musical acts, but with other skits replaced by the performers taking turns telling jokes. Humorists such as Paula Poundstone and Roy Blunt Jr. often made guest appearances on those shows, and listeners and audience members were encouraged to submit jokes for use on the air. In jokes are also sprinkled through the show, such as Piskakadawadakwidimagan, a made-up word that's been used both for places and for people's names. The components of this made-up word are portions of Native American place names in the New England region of the United States, most of them in Maine i.e., Piscataqua, Passamaquoddy, and Androscoggin. <laughs> <laughs> Fictional sponsors 
The show creates fictional advertisements for fictional products, performed in the style of live old-time radio commercials. The show acknowledges its actual underwriters at the beginning, end, and middle break of the show. Prairie Home's most prominent sponsor is the fictitious powder milk biscuits. Before he and the band performed the product's jingle every week, has your family tried them, powder milk? Garrison Keeler would extol powder milk's virtues in this way. Among its other sponsors, Bebop A Rebop Rhubarb Pie and Frozen Rhubarb Pie Filling has been prominent, with ads featuring the Bebop A Rebop jingle, performed to the tune of Shortenin' Bread. One little thing can revive a guy and that is a piece of rhubarb pie serve it up, nice and hot maybe things aren't as bad as you thought mama's little baby loves rhubarb, rhubarb bebop rebop rhubarb pie. The jingle is usually sung after a bombastic, sound effect enhanced tale of woe, and is immediately followed by Keeler asking, Wouldn't this be a great time for a piece of rhubarb pie? Yes, nothing gets the taste of shame and humiliation out of your mouth quite like Bebop A Rebop Rhubarb Pie. Other prominent sponsors include Bertha's Kitty Boutique, whose locations in the fictional Dales shopping centers, Roy and Dale, Airedale, Teasdale, Clydesdale, Chippendale, Mondale, and all the other fine shopping centers. Allude to various real people and things, and the catch-up advisory board. Its name a mashup of the common catsup and ketchup spellings, which has the tagline catch-up for the good times. Other sponsors have included in addition the recurring segment the lives of the cowboys featured its own western themed sponsors including prairie dog granola bars healthier than chewing tobacco and you don't have to spit and cowboy toothpicks the toothpick that's guaranteed not to splinter Topic. Alterations While much of the show is directed toward radio comedy, a portion is usually devoted to some more sentimental and sometimes dark stories put together by Keeler and others. The program occasionally also features political satire. At the beginning of the June 5, 2004, show broadcast from Meadowbrook Musical Arts Center in Guilford, New Hampshire, Keeler announced that former U.S. President Ronald Reagan had died. A member of the audience hooted and cheered loudly, but Keeler, a staunch Democrat, gave the Republican Reagan a warm tribute in the form of a gospel song. Similarly, in a 2002 show airing the weekend after the death of Senator Paul Wellstone, Keeler changed the format of the show, starting it off with Wellstone's favorite segment, Guy Noir, skipping even the show's theme song. Topic: <laughs> Cast. Topic. Actors Regularly appearing actors include Tim Russell beginning in 1994 and Sue Scott beginning in 1989. When the show resumed as the American Radio Company of the Air in November 1989, radio comedian Bob Elliott, half of the longtime radio and comedy television duo Bob and Ray, became a regular cast member. Actor Bill Perry was a member. Walter Bobby made frequent appearances, as early as 1989, and continuing through 2006-2007. Ivy Austin was a regular contributing comedian and vocalist in the early 90s. 
Prudence Johnson has performed frequently on the show as an actress and a singer. Mark Benninghofer joined the cast as a substitute actor for a brief time after Russell broke his ankle in February 2009, forcing him to take a month of medical leave. Erica Rhodes has been an occasional guest on the show, beginning in 1996 when she was 10 years old. Serena Brooke joined the cast in October 2016 when Chris Thiele became host. Topic. Sound effects artists Tom Keith, also known as Jim Ed Poole, appeared in all of the home-based shows. Keith died on October 30, 2011, at age 64. Fred Newman filled this role in the Away shows. Steve Kramer and Leslie Orr have also provided sound effects for the show. Topic. Musicians Regular musicians in Guy's All-Star Shoe Band include Richard Dworsky, a composer who appeared weekly as pianist, bandleader, and music director, Gary Rayner on bass and bass guitar, Peter Johnson on percussion, Jevetta Steele on vocals, and Andy Stein on violin, tenor and bass saxophones, and vocals. When the shoe band had a horn section, Keeler referred to them as the shoe horns. Other frequent, occasional, former, or one-time musicians on the show include <laughs> topic. Production staff Production staff, who work on stage, off stage, backstage, or behind the scenes, are led by Albert Webster, the show's stage manager, the only staff person who appears in front of large audiences, and who frequently appears on stage during performance, speaking off air with Keeler or other performers. Topic. Film. Released on June 9, 2006, A Prairie Home Companion is a film about a dying radio show that bears striking similarities to A Prairie Home Companion. With the actual APHC home venue, the Fitzgerald Theatre in St. Paul chosen to serve as set piece, soundstage and framing device. The film was written by Garrison Keillor and directed by Robert Altman, and shot digitally, with camera by Altman's son, Robert Altman Jr. The film stars Keillor, Meryl Streep, Tommy Lee Jones, Lily Tomlin, Kevin Klein, John C. Riley, Lindsay Lohan, Maya Rudolph, Woody Harrelson, Virginia Madsen, and L.Q. Jones. APHC regular Rich Dworsky appears as the bandleader, and served as the film's pianist, conductor, arranger, and composer. The film depicts the unnamed radio program's behind-the-scenes activities, and the relational dynamics within the cast over its anticipated, imminent cancellation. The antagonist, Axeman, who has come to shut the show down is played by Tommy Lee Jones. As described in a 2005 on-set piece by David Carr for The New York Times, the film set's atmosphere had a kind of spanky and our gang lets put on a show quality, with crew, marquee talent and prairie home acolytes and extras mixing freely. The dailies, the traditional days and look at finished footage, usually include D about 75 people, a vivid reminder of Mr. Altman's penchant for collaborative filmmaking. And because music is such an important part of the movie and the radio show, the set always seem ed to be lifted by the pluck of a mandolin or a three-part harmony rehearsal. The film, which makes no reference to Lake Wobegon, is of feature length, with its financing provided by Green Street Films, River Road Entertainment, and local Minnesota sources. 
Its award nominations 2006, unless noted, include the Berlin International Film Festival Golden Bear Award for Best Film, the National Association of Film Critics Bottle Award for Best American Film, the Film Independent Film Association Independent Spirit Award for Best Director, the Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Best Screenplay, the International Press Academy Satellite Award Awards for Best Adapted Screenplay, the Independent Filmmaker Project Gotham Independent Film Award for Best Ensemble Performance, the Broadcast Film Critics Association Critics' Choice Movie Award for Best Cast, and the Casting Society of America Artios Award for Best Casting for Feature Film Comedy. Its wins include the Yomiuri Shimbun Film Association Hochi Film Award 2007 for Best Best Foreign Film. In addition, Meryl Streep was nominated for an International Press Academy Satellite Awards for Best Supporting Actress Motion Picture, and won the National Society of Film Critics Awards for the same category. <laughs> LP, CD releases A Prairie Home Album LP Minnesota Educational Radio Tourists LP 1983 PHC Pretty Good Jokes 2 CD 2000 Highbridge Audio Garrison Keillor and the Hopeful Gospel Quartet 1992 Sony Lake Wobegon Loyalty Days 1993 Emmy Garrison Keillor's Comedy Theater, More Songs and Sketches from A Prairie Home Companion 3 CD 1996, Highbridge Company Horrors A Scary Home Companion 2 CD 1996, Highbridge Company A Prairie Home Companion Anniversary Album 2 LP 1980, Minnesota Public Radio Inc. Shaking the Blues Away, Rob Fisher and the Coffee Club Orchestra with Garrison Keillor 1992, Angel Records in association with Emmy Records Ltd. Pretty Good Bits from A Prairie Home Companion 2003. A Prairie Home Companion, English Majors, a comedy collection for the highly literate 2 CD 2008, Highbridge Company Church People, The Lutherans of Lake Wobegon, 2009. Topic: <laughs> Stories from Lake Wobegon. Gospel Birds and Other Stories of Lake Wobegon, 1985. Includes the stories: Pastor Inquist's trip to Orlando, Mammoth concert tickets. Bruno, the fishing dog. Gospel birds. Meeting Donny Hart at the bus stop. A day at the circus with Mazumbo. The Tolerud's Korean baby. Sylvester Kruger's desk. And. Babe Ruth visits Lake Wobegon. News from Lake Wobegon, April 1990. Includes the stories. Me and Choir. A Day in the Life of Clarence Bunsen. Letter from Jim. Fiction. The Living Flag. The Tollefson Boy Goes to College. Tomato Butt. Chamber of Commerce. Dog Days of August. Mrs. Burge and the Schubert Carillon Piano. Giant Decoys. Daryl Tolerud's Long Day. Hog Slaughter. Thanksgiving. The Royal Family. Guys on Ice. James Lundeen's Christmas. The Christmas Story Retold. New Year's from New York. And. Storm Home. More news from Lake Wobegon, April 1990. Includes the stories. Rotten Apples. Oh Death. 
The Wise Men, A Trip to Grand Rapids, Truck Stop, Smokes, The Perils of Spring, Let Us Pray, Alaska, Uncle Al's Gift, Skinny Dip, Homecoming, Pontoon Boat, Author, Freedom of the Press, and Vix. Lake Wobegon, USA, September 1993, includes the stories The Krebs Box Vacation, Prophet, The Six Labors of Father Wilmer, Fertility, Aunt Ellie, Duke's 25th, Job Hunting, You're Not the Only One, Blue Devils, Nostalgia, Oh Christmas Tree. Pageant. Messy Shoes. Rhubarb. Sweet Corn. The Sun's Gonna Shine Someday. And. Yellow Ribbon. Summer, May 1997. Includes stories from Disc 2 of News from Lake Wobegon. Fall, October 1997. Includes stories from Disc 3 of News from Lake Wobegon. Winter, December 1997. Includes stories from Disc 4 of News from Lake Wobegon. Spring, April 1998. Includes stories from Disc 1 of News from Lake Wobegon. Life These Days, October 1998. Includes the stories. Gladys Hits a Raccoon. The World's Largest Pile. My Cousin Rose. The Risk Takers. Pastor Inquest at the Mall. Hunting Stories. Sorrows of January. Clarence Cleans His Roof. Miracle of the Pastor's Dog. War of the Krebs Box. Graduation. And. Spring. Printed Insert. Mother Father Uncle Aunt May 1998. Includes the stories. Ball Jars. Love While You Dare To. Saturday Morning in the Bon Marche. Family Trip to Yellowstone. The Flood. Bob Anderson's Last Dance. Children Will Break Your Heart. Ronnie and the Winnebago. Carl's Christmas Pageant. And. The Tombstone. Humor, October 1998. Includes the stories. Skinny Dip. Homecoming. The Freedom of the Press. And. Vix. From More News from Lake Wobegon. Love, February 1999. Includes the stories. Truck Stop. Uncle Al's Gift. Rotten Apples. And. The Wise Men. From More News from Lake Wobegon. Home on the Prairie, July 2003. Never Better, 2007. Faith, April 2008. Includes stories from Disc 1 of More News from Lake Wobegon. Hope, April 2008. Includes stories from Disc 2 of More News from Lake Wobegon.